I'm in Malibu, California right now. I actually thought I was having a mental breakdown. I don't think that's very good for my health. Maybe that's why I'm so like mentally unstable. There's like a farmer's market going on right now, so I wanted to show you guys, because look how cute this is. This food looks so freaking bomb. Do you see how pretty this looks? I have a bunch of PR packages that I need to open. Stop! Good morning. I just woke up this morning to watch the sunrise. <gasps> she did not want to come out. Yesterday, the sunrise was beautiful. I was like, oh my God, let me capture this. But I was like, no, I'm gonna like live in the moment. And then I was expecting the same today. Anyways, time is currently about 7 a.m. I woke up at six, naturally. Anyways, I'm in Malibu, California right now. I'm supposed to be moving, but I got so stressed out that I actually thought I was having a mental breakdown and it's very rare that I have this thought like usually I'm like positive affirmations like my like you're okay but I was dead ass sitting on my stair steps at like 7 p.m. and I was like oh my god like I need to get out of here I need to get out of here I was going absolutely crazy but maybe it was because I slept on concrete floors I was like oh my god a hotel room in Malibu is so expensive maybe I just stay and sleep on my concrete floors in my house but then I was like that means that if I do that I probably won't make a YouTube video for another week because I'm gonna be so out of it like I literally lost my entire personality and I was just becoming I was becoming like you know? And like, do you know when a minor inconvenience happens to you, but then all of a sudden you think the world is about to end and like the world is out to get you and like everything is just going wrong in your life and you just start spiraling? Yeah, that is literally what I was doing. I convinced myself that I was falling off and that my YouTube career was literally ending Maybe I shouldn't say those things. What if it manifests? But anyways, yeah, I convinced myself that I was irrelevant and I was like, oh like Ms. Girl You're going down a deep rabbit hole like I didn't post a video because I was so scared I ended up posting it and the video was doing fine Like I literally was just tricking my brain telling myself that I was irrelevant. Anyways, hi, my name is Mai Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to join the family <laughs> So I'm currently in a hotel in Malibu, California and I was supposed to like vlog the first day and be like I'm gonna trip alone like welcome to my hotel tour But I just spent the whole day not on my phone reading a book journaling no technology Putting my feet in the sand to ground myself because I actually was so scared for where my mental health was headed. So glad I did that because I think without that, I probably would have quit YouTube. No, not actually, but like y'all would have hated my videos. I actually was the most bland, boring person ever. Anyways, so I'm just gonna show y'all what I've been up to. I had to a different hotel today because I was like, ugh, let's spice things up. You know what I mean? But this hotel is gorgeous. I'm so grateful that I could come to this hotel. Partly the reason why I'm making this video is because like, I was like, I need to make my money back somehow because my bank account is like, what are you doing, my? Like, all of a sudden you think you're rich or something? Like, all of a sudden you think that you're not gonna go in debt or something? All of a sudden you don't think that you have a credit card bill to pay? <laughs> Please subscribe. Don't skip the ads. This is the view from my balcony. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Fireplace, the bed, a big old booty, <laughs> and the bathroom. Look at my new toothbrush. I got this new one from CVS. It's like an Oral-B. It's like a rotating one. I thought I would get a good toothbrush because I invested in my teeth, but then all of a sudden my teeth were turning yellow. I was like, um, Ms. Girl, excuse me. I got the Philips Sonicare. What if they want to just launch me one day? No, nah, I'm gonna be honest. I got the Philips Sonicare and it literally did not clean my teeth. All it did was just vibrate on my teeth and I was like, what is this doing? And I saw some TikToks and people were like, oh my god, yeah. My dentist told me that like vibrating toothbrushes don't work. You need like an oscillating one. So I went out and bought this for 70 something bucks. I'm so proud of myself. Cause we're like, you know, investing in our health and I've been using it for two minutes now and so far I like it. Ooh! Ooh! Uh, Yo, what the fuck? My ass don't shake. Like, this is a strong rack. All she's throwing is rack, no ass. We got our little hotel slippers. Fun fact. Yesterday I was at the beach and one of my Crocs flew away. So I've just been using hotel slippers to walk around. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. And you? Good. Can I just get a table outside, please? Okay, I'm looking at the menu right now. Yesterday I had croissant sliders and country potatoes poutine. It was so good, but like I need to try something new. You know what I mean? So I'm like a mushroom omelet. I've been trying not to drink so much coffee because a girl is actually addicted to Starbucks and has like four special shots a day. And I was like, I don't think that's very good for my health. Maybe that's why I'm so like mentally unstable. Could I get the fried egg sandwich please? Okay. And then to drink, could I get the um, hot chocolate and then also Earl Grey tea? Thank you. Thank you. 
Yes, thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate sure. it. So, I just got back from eating, but I was just kind of journaling the whole time, and yesterday night I couldn't sleep. So I journal, but I get asked all the time, what do you journal about? Because I know that journaling can be so boring and like sometimes you just look at your journal and you're like, what do I do? Like, am I supposed to be like, today I wrote this and then Jimmy was so mean to me. Like, I don't treat my journal like a diary. I have a whole separate journal for that because the only time I'm like writing diary entries where I'm like talking about like, oh my God, like he did this to me and I cannot believe that he did this. Like that's a whole separate boy journal, okay? I'm currently reading the book, Power of your subconscious mind and this book is written by Joseph Murray he has a PhD DD I don't know if that makes him more qualified but no matter what you believe in this book explains it in a way where it's like none of that voodoo like BS you know what I mean and I say BS even though like I believe in that voodoo stuff but it explains it in a way where it's like science like it talks about the different parts of your brain and why the law of assumption and the law of attraction and manifestation works and whether you're into manifestation or if you're very weary about it and you don't really know read the book because it explains it in a perfect way when I journal I don't really be writing about my feelings unless like I have feelings because a lot of the days like my days go by they're so mundane like you don't want to write about that right what I write about is how excited I am for life now I know you may be like my like I literally hate myself I hate my life like I'm depressed sitting in my bed I I have been there done that you know what I mean like I was 14 once you know wanting to unalive myself for like years on end I think the reason why I got out of it and like you know like I stuck around was because I was excited about what there was out there that I haven't experienced yet now. I didn't know what the future was and like nobody knows what the future is. You can't predict the future because there's no future without the present, right? But with your conscious and your subconscious mind, right? Your conscious mind is like your awake mind and then your subconscious mind is like your sleep mind. And this is why I always say your thoughts are so powerful. Your thoughts affect your feelings. You can control your thoughts. And this is also why affirmations work. Positive affirmations that you say to yourself, I am this, I am this. Now if I could describe it in any way, it's like you have a garden. The seeds that you're planting during the day are your thoughts. So if you're telling yourself, I can't do this. You know what I mean? You're telling yourself negative things that you can't do things and you're always expecting the worst, you're planting these seeds. But if you're saying all these good things to yourself, always expecting the best, being excited about the future, whatever you tell yourself, those are the seeds that you're planting, right? And you have your garden, and when you're sleeping at night especially, those that's when your, your seeds are growing, you know? And keep in mind, your, your garden doesn't understand sarcasm. So when you're joking to yourself, like I always used to do, and like y'all know that I used to use self-deprecation as like a form of humor, and I would tell myself shit things about myself to be funny. Your subconscious mind doesn't know what the fuck sarcasm is. It can't take a joke. So even if you're saying these things as a joke, like, don't. But basically, you're sleeping at night, your subconscious mind is like brewing up. It's about to sprout the seeds. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's nurturing the seeds. And the more you tell yourself all these, these negative things, the more seeds that you're planting deeper and deeper into the freaking garden, okay? And eventually, these seeds are gonna sprout into your reality. So if you told yourself all these negative things, if you told yourself you couldn't do something, if you always expected the worst, those, those seeds are gonna sprout and the worst is about to come. But if you convince yourself that, you know, your life is so exciting, there's so much to look forward to, and that um, you are these things that you were from to yourself, you know what I mean? All these positive things, then eventually it will sprout into your reality, you know? It's not just gonna magically happen. Like you have to do it so often that, that you believe in yourself and, and I've tricked myself and it took a long, long, long time, okay? But that's the power of the subconscious and conscious mind. Read the book. If you have no idea what to journal about, journal about how excited you are for the future, even though you don't know what the future is about to come. Sorry, like I talk too much, but like, it's just, I'm so passionate about it that I want y'all to learn. <laughs> Wow, this view is actually crazy. I'm currently eating breakfast. Yesterday night I got in, but I didn't vlog because I had to film a couple brand deals. So I wasn't really doing anything except for being on my computer and filming brand deals. But I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, but then I fell back to sleep. Like I woke up at 5 a.m. feeling so refreshed and like ready to start the day. But then I was like, ew, that is way too early. Like the sun's not even up. So I went back to sleep, but then I woke up at eight o'clock instead. This place is gorgeous, by the way. I'll show you a tour in a sec.
Okay, I'm at my house right now. I'm just gonna pack up the rest of the things and ship them out. But I just got this package. It's from Japan. I literally ordered off like Japan's websites that like don't ship to America or anything like that. I wanted this shirt, but it was so expensive trying to buy it here. So I bought it off this website. I'll link it down below. So the place in Japan will ship it to the warehouse in Japan and then that person will send it out here. I am so excited. I didn't think it would come this fast. I ordered it maybe two weeks ago, which kind of a long time, but I didn't think it would come this fast from Japan. Oh my God, like why am I so excited for this shirt? Like I literally could have made this myself. It's literally the most basic shirt and it says shit happens. <laughs> Why am I so excited? It's from the brand number nine. Like I literally could have bought this shirt here or made it here, but I, <laughs> like this is so dope. All right, I'm currently in Culver City right now because I'm gonna go get something to eat because I'm starting to get irritated. And I know that whenever I get irritated, I need to eat, but I'm gonna eat, like I said a million times already, resist the urge to like get ice cream or like hot chocolate. I have to pick up a credit card from UPS. Then we're gonna head back to Malibu, but there's like a farmer's market going on right now. So I wanted to show you guys, cause look how cute this is. Hi. Hi, I'm good, you? Very good. Could I get a croissant and then a apple tart, please? Absolutely. There's a lady taking pictures of us. <laughs> I need a copy of that one. What are um, you doing? I'm a YouTuber. A what? A YouTuber. YouTube. Yeah. Bird. So you just go around doing things. Yep. Okay, what you want? Could I get um just a combo? That's a half with the potatoes. You get the pita bread to drink in a sauce for 15 bucks. Or yeah. you can just get a half of chicken with potatoes for twelve dollars. I'll get everything. All right. Yeah. Ooh, I like you. We call you Miss Automatic. Miss Automatic? Okay. Hell yeah. Miss A U T O Matic. A U T O Matic. Oh my gosh, tell me why I've lived in Culver City for a year now and I've never been here like and the day that I come here is like basically the day that I'm gonna leave This food looks so freaking bomb. It's so cute here. There's so much stuff And I looked at the croissants and like all the pastries and I was like yo I can't pass this up like as much as I'm trying not to eat like sugar anymore Like I can't not you know like life's too short. We're gonna try this. I'm so excited I was gonna like sit at a restaurant and eat but this is so much better. We got rotisserie chicken some pita and potatoes it's good. That dude was so funny. Oh my god, these are hot as frick. I got half a chicken, water, potatoes, pita for only 15 bucks. This was a good decision. This food is so good. Okay, like I'm literally just sitting in the middle of this farmer's market right now, vlogging. Two seconds later. How much I ate? Oh, you are. You a munchkin. You just mem nimbo. A nimbo? A little bit of <laughs> this is what I mean. Although I go and do things alone for some reason, I always just end up talking to people. Maybe my affirmations be working. I'd be saying like, oh my god, I'm a magnet. I attract and I receive love and I give love. Like I'm a magnet. Like those are my affirmations I'd be writing in my journal. Even my UPS driver be hitting me up. My UPS driver texted me yesterday. I guess he like got my number from my package and he was like, hey, do you still need the tape gun? I'm like, does your UPS driver text you? Let me show you the croissant. Ooh, okay. This is so good. I used to eat a croissant like five times a day when I lived with my parents. They would buy croissants from IGA. Do you know what IGA is or is it just Canadian thing? And they would just buy plastic containers of croissants and I would eat so many. That's so good. Okay, apple tart. Do you see how pretty this looks? Okay, I love apples, so hopefully this is good. I've never had an apple tart though. This is so good. It's like dry, right? But the apple is moist, so like it, it balances each other out. And there's like the texture of the puree and then the flakiness of the tart. Oh my God, all of a sudden I'm a food, food blogger. What's up? Uh, just eating this pastry. What are you doing? Taking a break. You take breaks? That loud ass generator. Hell yeah. You know I got a break. You're missing potential customers. What are you doing? Look, what are those girls over there wanting chicken? <laughs> How do you know? You never know. I'm just walk over here. Hey, here I am. Okay, okay. What is this? Ginger, turmeric, lemon, lime, okay. cinnamon. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's like if I could describe it, it's like you're eating like spicy food, but like without like the spicy part of it. It's like that feeling, but without the spicy part. I literally can like feel that in my body. I need water. Can you hear my voice? Like it's fucking me up. My mouth is fucking going insane right now.
Okay, I'm currently back in town. I'm not in Malibu anymore. I'm back in Culver City, but I'm at like my local deli, I guess, and I'm just gonna get a sandwich and a coffee. So I have a meeting in 40 minutes, but I need to pack up. Ah, the rest of my house. I don't wanna do this. No, I do wanna do this. I get to, I don't have to. I get to do this. I get to pack up my house. I'm trying to be positive, okay. <laughs> I just got a chicken Caesar wrap from this market. I love going to like little delis, little markets, like little stores. I just feel like it hits different, you know what I mean? And I feel like it makes me romanticize my life a little bit more. Just cause like you always see like characters like movies going to places like this. Cause I was gonna go to like Starbucks and get a coffee and I was like, no, I have to break that addiction. So instead I went to the deli and I feel like this definitely has this much sugar while Starbucks has like this much, but let's try this. This is what it looks like. It's good. I have a meeting in 15 minutes. I'm gonna have a meeting tomorrow. I have this huge product that I've been working on for the past year and I have a meeting for it tomorrow. I have a bunch of PR packages that I need to open because I gotta like sort them out and see what I'm shipping out. So I thought we would do a quick little PR unboxing haul. Okay, let's do it. First off, Gymshark, cute. Black sports bra with the red. To match with that, I have some gray biker shorts. That's cute. We have this teal set, cute biker shorts. This top, oh my God, that is so cute. <gasps> I'm obsessed with this set. Oh my God, this is so cute. Gymshark actually has like my favorite workout sets. I don't own any other workout sets, maybe like one or two, but I got rid of a bunch of them and I only have Gymshark because I actually am obsessed with them, especially their shorts. Oh, this color is so cute. Oh my God, wow. Y'all are gonna see me in my new gym wearing these sets, looking cute as frick. I'm so excited. I love how like mismatched they are, you know what I mean? But like still the same. Okay, this, I got this because like whenever I go on runs, it's a little cold in the morning, I can put this over top of a sports bra and then we have some leggings. So, cause you know, she's a runner, she's a track star or whatever. If you guys wonder what sizes I get, um, I used to get extra small, but that kind of cuts off my circulation now. So I just get small. This one, I know this one's gonna make me look so tan even though I'm pale. Oh my God. Do you guys see this ribbing here? Such good material. This like, cinches you in. Oh my gosh. This is such a pretty vibrant color. And then this top, this one's not like a sports bra. It is, but like it's a longer one, which I like. So it's going to look like kind of like seamless, if that makes sense. I saw my friend Lena Lifts post in this set today and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. And I didn't realize that I ordered it. This kind of like purplish blue one. Again, this kind of like shapes the bum. Okay. Okay. This cinches you in. And then this is the sports bra, kind of like a high neck. I love like the different styles that they have. Ooh, I don't have a color like this. This is why I got this one. This one reminds me of like fall. It's like this maroon heathered color. I feel like heathered always makes the booty look so fat. And I got some leggings because I like wanted to switch it up between leggings and biker shorts. Cause I think biker shorts make me look better, but if it's cold out, I don't want to be running in biker shorts, you know? So I got this. Oh my God. I love how the text is like a kind of peach color. And then last but not least, I have this. It comes with like leggings and a top as well, but I wore the leggings in the top for like three days in a row. So those are in the wash right now, but this sports bra, super cute. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear those in the gym. Thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring this video. You guys can use my link down in the description box to shop, but y'all know that I'm a Gymshark stan, so are we surprised? Not really. Pharmacy, oh my gosh, I've been seeing them post this on their Instagram and like social media all the time. And I knew what was in this package, but I didn't want to open it until now because it has, so basically they have this niacinamide night mask and Pharmacy is like one of my favorite skincare brands, by the way. So I'm so excited to try this. I love Pharmacy. Actually, I don't want to open that, but niacinamide is so good for your face. This is made of, ooh, upcycled blueberry seed oil. Cool. What I was super excited for was I wanted an alarm clock, but I bought like the one where like it actually like dings and I actually had like anxiety when I used it because I couldn't fall asleep because I would like wake up five times in the middle of the night because I was so scared of it going off that like it was not good for me. So the fact that they have this one now, which is like a reading light and then you have like a soft like alarm, which is so nice. Sleep sounds too and a personalized sleep routine. I'm so excited for this. This is gonna be my new house. <gasps> Thank you so much pharmacy. And then they also sent me a candle. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I am obsessed. They also gave me some sleep tea. This is gonna be perfect. And then also some sleepy chocolate. I eat this and I go to sleep. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Pharmacy. Living Proof sent me some maybe like shampoos and conditioners. Right now I'm using L'Oreal Everpure. That's what I used on my hair like a couple of days ago and it looks so healthy. Okay. that. It's just because I haven't brushed it. But I had a lot of people DM me be like, my, what did you use? Your hair is looking so healthy. L'Oreal Everpure. I did a brand deal with them. 
but this video isn't sponsored but that's why I used it and I actually loved it you can buy it at like Walmart I think or like Target and it's like really cheap but I'm excited to try this out though Living Proof sent me their dry volume and texture spray oh it's just like a styling spray I think I already have this not gonna lie but thank you and they sent me this cute little mug it says may your day be as nice as your hair i love this color and i love how it's not like a regular mug it gets shaped cool you know they also sent me clear elastics which is so nice because i actually ran out of elastics cute a scrunchie and they also sent me a bluetooth speaker for like my shower maybe thank you living proof next up we have hero cosmetics they have like some of the best skincare as well like their pimple patches love them and you can like buy them at target i think swipe away signs of past breakout stat oh this is such a cute bag i love the color purple so they gave me a dark spot brightening pad this has niacinamide and all this stuff oh my gosh is niacinamide good for like acne scars or something wow oh my gosh okay i'm really excited to use this this is so aesthetic. Wait, we have that. And then they gave me this wand, which dark spot brightening serum. I clearly need that. This came in clutch because I didn't pack any of my fancy skincare, only the basics. Okay, I'm gonna use this tonight. Thank you, Hero, for sending that. Look at this. This is gonna be my nighttime skincare routine right now. And this all just matches together. So aesthetic. I don't know where this is from. I think it's from Bioessence. Yes, it's from Bioessence. And it's their Squalene Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. I saw a girl use this on TikTok and I was like, oh, that is so cool. But look at their packaging. You can get this at Sephora. So aesthetic. I'm gonna use this tonight as well. Next up, I don't know where this is from. Oh, it's NARS. Skin in its best light. Okay, makeup that looks like skin. Why am I so excited for this? This is packaged so beautifully and I'm on here like translucent reflecting setting powder. Oh my God, wait, look at this. And it comes with a puff. This is so aesthetic. How could I not make this my new skincare routine? Sure, light reflecting powder. Oh my God, I was literally just about to go out and buy like a pink powder for under eyes because I saw so many makeup artists saying like using a pink powder for under your eyes makes it so much brighter. <gasps> Wait, y'all, NARS is coming in clutch. I kind of am in love with them. What is this? Bitch, if they just send me their foundation, stop. Stop. I literally just saw this TikToker, Michaela, talk about their foundations. And she said it's like one of her favorite foundations ever. And I don't have it. And I was literally just about to go buy this. And I can't believe they just sent me this. Are you kidding me? I am so excited. Why am I so excited about this PR package? Like, genuinely. Oh my gosh. These are gorgeous. Thank you so much, Nars. This is actually one of my favorite makeup PR packages I've ever gotten. But I think it's because I actually really wanted this stuff. Thank you, Nars. And thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. I have no idea where this is from they used my legal name though so that means that they that means they found me on instagram and was like let's send this girl pr aura daydream oh american eagle cozy together holiday forever they gave me this little bag oh cute they're like little rainbow earrings cute what is in this i love this packaging perfumes all right this is so cute let's smell it this is so nostalgic to me this smell, I don't know why. This is the American Eagle Aura one. This is so cute. Y'all go smell these if you have an American Eagle in your city. Cause it's actually good. I'm like, I can't really tell the differences between perfumes, but I can like, there's some that I can really distinctively tell, but some of them I'm just like, it smells good. That's it. This one is called Aura Daydream and it's like this gold. Let's spray it up here. Oh my God, why do I love this one? This one smells like, kind of smells like vanilla to me for some reason. I don't know, but this one's really good. Go buy the American Eagle or a Daydream. That one smells so good. Last thing we have is my mom made it. I was already wearing their sweatpants the other day, but they have some really good high quality clothes. Oh my God, this is so adorable. This is like a navy. I love this. You can just see how high quality the shirt is. No, I love this. And it's like a stretchy material. I'm gonna put this in my um, suitcase because I think I'm gonna wanna wear it while I move. I love this. You can just see that it's such good quality. They have their biker shorts. Oh my God, these are gonna be so cute together. A little set, I'm excited. Okay, they also gifted me this, but I don't know if this is my vibe. Like it's cute, but I just don't know if like Sherpa is my vibe, but maybe it'll be cozy. I'm gonna pack this because I actually think that this is something I may fall in love with, not gonna lie. But just Sherpa just like flashes me back to 2019. Like when all the influencers used to wear it, like no dissing to that, but it's just like, do I really wanna go back to 2019 when I was like depressed? And it comes with some sweatpants okay okay no actually i think i may become obsessed with these because they seem so cozy thank you so much to my mom made it anyways that was a pr haul i'm gonna pack this all up now thank you to all the brands and thank you rest in peace to this wall we gotta take it down i feel like i've lived in this house for two seconds like this does not feel like my home like i don't feel anything walking into here Oh my god, 
gosh. So I didn't use tape. I used this like sticky tack. It worked really well, but now it's just stuck. So I'm gonna have to use like a razor blade to get all these things off. 